Texas and Oklahoma are on their way to the SEC in 2024. The bookmakers expect Oklahoma to struggle, but Texas has the second best odds to win the conference. The question everybody's been asking the last two seasons, is Texas back? We're going to talk about it, but before we do, i got to tell you about a promotion we have available at wagertalk.com. From now until August 31st, you can get all my football picks. That's college football, NFL, and NFL preseason for one low price, of 249 bucks. Why would you be interested in that? Well, I do my homework over the summer. The results have been pretty damn good. 41 and 12, 77% with college football in August and September. The last two years, you throw in NFL and NFL preseason, we're still hitting 75%. You can get that package right now at wt.buzz slash deals. That is the Wager Talk deals page. However, there's no obligation to purchase anything from me today. You can feel free to tune in, absorb the free content, get the free picks. The only thing I ask from you is that you take the time to smash that like button, and that will allow me to keep on putting out these videos. Let's get into the free pick. We got Texas at home against Colorado State in week one. Texas is a 36-point favorite. Total sits at 59. I did mention that Texas has the second best odds to win the SEC. They're a two to one favorite to make the playoffs. This team did lose a lot of talent in the NFL draft, but they get quarterback Quinn Ewers back for his third season. They got uh, a ton of guys in the transfer portal that will help fill those gaps. They, uh, they got Isaiah Bond and Amari Nyblack from Alabama. They did lose their leading rusher, but backups Jaden Blue and CJ Baxter combined for over a 1,000 yards last year. Blue averaged 6.1 yards per carry. Uh, They're in good shape in the running back position, and uh, they got guys coming in on defense. I think Texas is back. This is going to be a team to be reckoned with, and they're taking on a Colorado State team that was 5-7 and in the Mountain West last year. They're coming into their third season under head coach Jay Norvell. He has them trending in the right direction. They are bringing back a ton of talent. They get their quarterback. Fowler Nicolosi back. Some of you might remember him from that thrilling game against Colorado last year that went to overtime. Uh, he'll get his top wide receiver all conference, Tory Horton, back this season. They got three starters returning on the offensive line, six starters returning on the defense. Uh, this team isn't going to win the Mountain West very likely, but they should be competitive in the conference this year. And uh, we're going to take a look at that spread of 36. That's a pretty big number, but Texas is a pretty damn good team. And I think Texas could cover this number if they wanted to. But let's take a look at the schedule and see what's coming up. Oh, we got Michigan coming up in seven days after this game. Texas will be at Michigan. So do you think Texas is going to show that much in this game? you think they're going to run their best plays? I don't think so. I think it's going to be very vanilla. If Texas is up by 20, 25 points at the half, I expect them to pull their starters early in the third quarter, and uh, I I expect them to prepare for that Michigan game coming up. Big look-ahead spot for Texas. I think it's just too many points, and I think this Colorado State team is good enough to score points in garbage time to uh, perhaps get that backdoor cover. 36 points is too much for me when you got Michigan on deck. If you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, you got anything to say to me, hit me up in the comments below. Get back to you as soon as I can.